Hi, my name's Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the real world of data. In today's video, what I want to cover off is part three of uh, a beginner's guide to data analytics or data analytics for beginners. So what should you do? So this is the final part of, of the three of the three part series. And well, what is it that you need to do to wrap up um, the, the beginnings or, the, or start the journey on being a data analyst? OK, so there's two things I want to cover here. One is uh, for your ability to create dashboards. So you need to learn how to create dashboards. Now, again, I, I could do a tutorial and I'm, 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 I will do a video to show you how to create dashboards. But for now, what I would suggest you just Google what a dashboard looks like. OK, and you'll see several um, examples of what a dashboard looks like. And literally a dashboard is a series of graph charts, tables put together in a nice way to tell a story. OK, now the easiest place to create that is, as, as you've learned Excel, is to create the dashboard in Excel. Think about how much an A4 will take Ideally, um, landscape, not horizontal. Horizontal is fine, but think about landscape, and then think about creating uh, dashboards within within that um, area. Okay, um, so that's one uh, that's one thing you could do. The other thing you could do is to learn a tool, uh, a, a visualization tool. Now there are several out there. So common examples are Power BI, uh, Tableau, and um, Google Data Studio. Now I'm going to recommend you go to Google Data Studio only because a you just need a Gmail account to get it, and it's, it's an online one. Um, same, I mean Tableau is also online. Same, same as Power BI, but you need to register and and all that. And most of us already have a Gmail account. So go with Google Data Studio. It's also quite easy. Um, and it's really simple. So you'll go to the studio, you'll, it has an option to import data. So just like in Excel, where I talked about in part one, importing a CSV, think about importing a CSV into uh, Google. What Google has its own version of Excel called Google Sheets, and it will upload it into there. And it will look like Excel. You'll be very familiar with it. You can play around with it there. But then Google, what Google Dash uh, Data Studio will read from that Google Sheets, um, and you can create your dashboard from there. Again, I'm just giving you tips on or directions on what to do in order to be a data analyst. I'm not really in these videos wanting to teach you um, Google Data Studio. Again, another video, I, I'll, I'll try and create another video where I will uh, sort of give you the basics on how to get started with Google Data Studio. But again, a lot of resource out there. There is actually um, a Google Analytics Academy where it shows you how to use Google Data Studio. So, uh, you know, do that course and it will give you a great understanding of how to use Google Data Studio. But if you don't want to use that, you can create uh, dashboards in uh, Excel. Now, the other thing is you can also create dashboards in PowerPoint and it's another skill you should learn. You should learn how to use PowerPoint. OK, so be very proficient in how to use PowerPoint. So if you haven't got a copy of PowerPoint, um, you can download it for, for a free trial from Microsoft. Um, ideally, you know, your, your workplace will have it or if you're a student, um, your university will have it. Um, but if you don't have PowerPoint, um, you know, uh, like I said, get, just get a trial version from Microsoft uh, and learn how it works. OK, it's very it's a, a very versatile tool in terms of presenting. Um, and it's a very good way to create dashboards. Okay, now what I would recommend you do, uh, PowerPoint has the ability to create graphs and charts and everything, so you can like connect to sheets. But what I tend to do is create my graphs and charts uh, and tables in Excel, and then copy and paste them over into PowerPoint. Now, what you'll find sometimes it will lose the formatting of Excel and adopt the the color scheme or whatever you have in uh, PowerPoint. Um, so you just need to work out how to maintain your uh, color scheme uh, or how to maintain your sort of attributes of your graphs and table in. PowerPoint. PowerPoint, but try and create dashboards in PowerPoint so that they cut, you know, so that you're able to present um, your your work. Now, th those are really sort of the basics that you need to understand uh, in order to begin uh, your journey as a data analyst. So, first of all, like I said in part one, learn something like you know, well, obviously have an um, affinity with data, that you want to work with data, um, that you use things like spreadsheets in your personal life so that you can see what they're capable of doing. And then learn Excel. OK, so once you've learned Excel and become proficient at it, you've started that journey of being a data analyst. The second thing is obviously learn something like SQL, because a lot of companies will have databases and they would need someone who has SQL skills to access it. Um, so in part two, I talked about learning SQL and then obviously get more proficient uh, at Excel um, so that you are uh, being able to create graphs and charts in Excel, um, that you're able to automate those or update those graphs and charts automatically just by copying and pasting data. Um, you should have learned things like VLOOKUP and pivot tables um, in Excel in part one. And then in part three, you know, really it's about uh, learning how to present your data. OK, so either in a dashboard, Excel serves very well as a dashboard. You can use Google Data Studio or, as I mentioned, uh, 
and my last on the last item is PowerPoint. Okay, so Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, a lot of businesses use that. They will always present findings in that. So see if you can create great, uh, good PowerPoint uh, presentations. Okay, well, thank you for listening to the last part of my series on a beginner's guide to data analytics. Um, I hope you found it useful. I hope it helps you start the journey of being a data analyst. Um, and um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please jot them down below. Um, and thank you for listening.